We turn now to your forecast and the heat is on and so are the chances for showers. So for that, let's turn to meteorologist Todd Howe for the very latest. Todd. Hey Robin, thank you so much. A very good Wednesday evening to you folks. It has stayed warm, humid, and mainly dry in Knoxville, but a preview of what's to come the next couple of days, kind of a sign, a clue in the atmosphere of what we saw today. Coming out of Middle Tennessee, a cluster of some scattered thunder showers weakening uh, as it moved across the plateau in the valley, and now we're seeing that new line of storms from Chattanooga uh, southwestward back into Alabama. That's where most of the thunderstorms are. Matter of fact, we still have a chance for a few of these isolated to spotty showers, maybe an isolated thunder shower too. Uh, most of these are uh, Again, along the Cumberland Plateau into parts of the Southern Valley, a new isolated thunder shower just south of Crossville and uh, Lantana uh, and just west of Spring City coming out of Bledsoe County and heading towards Spring City, Northern Ray and along Rockwood Mountain as well. Again, most of these coming off the plateau, moving into the Western and Southern Valley. Here's a replay. Earlier thunder showers around Athens, especially Nauta, quickly weakened. You've seen a few of those thunder showers around Fairfield Glade weakening toward Wartburg. And again, a few more of those redeveloping. We'll have a chance for some of those as we head through this evening. Otherwise, it's going to stay warm in the 80s, slowly cooling into the 70s this evening, but increasing chances for some of those scattered thunder showers as we get into your Thursday afternoon. So when we come back, we'll talk more about the next couple of days, chances for rain and look ahead to the weekend. Robin. Hey Todd, thank you. To breaking news now, Oak Ridge police say a man is dead after a crash on State Highway 95. It happened around 345, just south of Bethel Valley Road near the Loudoun County line. Police say the driver left the road and then hit a tree. The passenger, a 39-year-old man, died at the scene. Crews took the driver to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The road is expected to reopen soon. Dollywood is getting ready.